So in this video, I'm going to share to you how to use Excel in uh, computing the correlation of a data. So let's assume that we have this data. It's about uh, um, relationship between the age and sleep duration, whether if our age increases and our sleep duration decreases or increases as well. So that's what we want to find out. So there are 13 participants actually so 13 for each of these group of data and um, to compute the correlation we need this data analysis under the data tab so if you can if you don't have this then you need to add it in as add-in so we can find it in file option so actually option is here in more and then press options and then add-in then you press go so these two you are going to um, check that and press ok so that the data analysis will come out in case in your excel it's not yet there next is if you're going to press that then you are going to find the different statistical tools where our focus is here in correlation for this video but before that, um, the Pearson correlation, which is actually in data analysis, is actually a, a parametric test. So it is requiring for the data to be normal. So these two groups of data must be normal. So we're going to conduct test of normality. If it's not normal, then we are going to transform it, which I'm going to show later. So to test the normality of the data, we are going to use the descriptive statistics and press OK and then um, we are going to highlight the data that we want to test for normality so it's actually this um, I'm going to highlight the, including the age and then we're going to check labels in first row then we are going to um, press this output range where we are going to choose where the result will be so we're gonna let's say we're gonna put it here and then press ok and then we're going to focus on this skewness so we're gonna color this skewness because as skewness gets close to zero then you can say that it's normal but here it's 0 0.34 it's small it's a bit close to zero but we cannot yet say that it is very close that we can say that it is normal so how close is it that it sh that it's going to be normal so we actually are going to compute the normality i, I mean the critical value of this skewness as our basis so that we can say that it's normal or not so how to compute the critical values it's equals and then two times two times the square root is QRT or square root of um, six divided by how many for each group how many participants so there are actually 13 but you can actually see it in here in count it, it means there are 13 you know so you can press that but you can actually write 13 if you want six divided by the 13 then press enter you can see here the critical value so we're going to put here create value or critical value so this is will be your basis the skewness should be not more than this critical value so that you can say that it's normal so as you can see it's small smaller than the critical value so that means the age is normal so what does it mean by normal that the mean median and mode are uh, the same so as you can see there's no mode because the mode is repeating number so we'll just focus on the mean and the median so the mean and median although there are there is a little difference of 0 0.07692 but it is the critical value saying that it is too small to say that they are not the same so it's very small difference so we can say that they are equal all right so let's now try a test for sleep duration data so we'll go back to data tab and then data analysis then check i mean 
descriptive statistics and then we are going to highlight for sleep duration highlight this and then check the labels in first row and then the output range so we're gonna choose here okay so uh, i'll just transfer it here then press ok by the way it, this must be checked summary statistics and confidence level for me same as with the age so that this will come out if you, if you didn't check that these things uh, will not come out summary statistics and then we are going to so we're gonna put some colors for skewness to emphasize then we're going to compare it for our with our critical value so we don't mind the negative sign whether it's negative or positive so we'll just assume that it's ne it's positive and then as you can see it is smaller than uh, the critical value so that means the slip duration is also normal so that means we are good to use correlation for this data now what if it's not uh, normal in case if it's not normal then we are going to transform the data transform it so that it will become normal so how do you transform it so we're gonna press equals and then log so we will take the log of each number so we'll have this number first 54 then close it with parenthesis and then press enter so this is the log of 54 so it is already transformed so we're gonna drag this here and so that it will follow the same procedure for the rest of the numbers so we're gonna erase the extra because there are only 13 numbers so the same way with the other uh, group of data so log that is if the data is not normal if it's normal then you don't need to transform it okay so we're gonna drag the same way and these are the transformed data now you might ask um, will it not affect our result if we change the data it won't affect the result if you are just going to use this for correlation I mean this transformed data you only use this for computing the correlation not for the mean not for standard deviation and so on so if you are you want the mean the standard deviation or whatever descriptive statistics that you need you are going to compute the real data not the transform the transform data is only for the correlation for the test of relationship no other competition should be using this data because this is transformed now it if it's after transforming it is not an assurance that it's already normal okay so it you need to do the same way you need to test the normality using this now if it's still not normal after you transform because there are times that it's not yet normal even if you transform it then that means you cannot use Pearson correlation to test the relationship of this data because it, it is not normal even if you transform it that means you need to use a non-parametric test of correlation which is Spearman correlation or the Kindle Stau. those two correlation tests are not actually requiring for a normality of the data but they are non-parametric so that means they are not more powerful or you can say that they are not much more reliable for the result of their correlation of this data compared to Pearson's correlation those are just used for our alternatives if it's not possible to use a correlation for uh, Pearson's correlation now since these data are normal so we are going to use the correlation this is actually a Pearson's correlation so press OK and then we are going to highlight the the data so we're gonna highlight the whole thing this part and then labels in first row because we include the age and sleep duration words and then we are going to select an output range meaning we're, where we're going to put the result so let's say it's here and then we we'll press ok so we have this 
a value this is actually the r or the correlation coefficient this is the uh, telling you the strength of the relationship between the two so the age and sleep duration so it's negative that means they are having an inverse effect or inverse relationship as one increases the other decreases so as the age increases the sleep duration decreases but we cannot conclude yet because we need to test the uh, significance of the, the correlation coefficient because it's 0 0.69 and uh, that is a bit far to zero but can we say that that is enough to say that it's far it's different from zero okay so this is a question so although it's 0 0.69 but is it not the same as zero is the difference 0 0.69 from zero enough to say that it's different from zero so this is a question we want to answer and so we are we need to um, get a critical value just like this for skewness but a critical value as a basis for the r now um, for the critical value we need to compute compute first the degrees of freedom that's part of the uh, things we needed to find the critical value so it's actually n minus 2 that's a formula for degrees of freedom so meaning it's uh, n or 13 because there are 13 of them so I'll just select the count minus 2 so that degrees of freedom is 11 now we need the uh, correlation table so we can search that online there are a lot of Pearson's correlation table which are if you are worried that it which of those are the correlation table uh, it, they have actually the same values as long as it's a correlation table not a t table not f table because they are different tables not chi square table it's correlation table all right so um, this correlation table is actually from this article realstatistics.com and also um, based on its reference uh, coming from Aspel Muir J 2005 uh, book uh, study table of critical values for Pearson's R so it is uh, a reference that is published and how are we going to use this correlation table so we are going to look at the 0 0.05 column because we are it, uh, having a 5% margin of error. If it's a medical study like nursing for, or for medical doctors, we use 0 0.01 because it's involving life of human or animals. It's 1% chance only of having an error. So since it's ours is um, social research, for social study so we're gonna use this a 5% margin of error 0 0.05 then we're gonna locate uh, together with the row 11 because it's this is the great degrees of freedom 11 as we have computed for n minus 2 so 11 and then here with the 0 0.05 so the critical value is 0.552943 so go, let's go back to here it's 0 0.552943 so that is the critical value so it is saying that the r must be more than this so that we can say that it is there is relationship there is significant relationship between the two variables of course we don't um just like the skewness we don't consider the sign negative or positive when comparing to the critical value so basically it's just the absolute value of the r all right so as you can see the 0.69 is bigger than the critical value that means there is significant relationship between these two so there is actually a negative relationship between the age and the sleep duration so it means so based on the r it means the uh, as the age increases the sleep duration decreases 
okay or the vice versa but of course the vice versa does it make sense because the age does not decrease the age is always increasing so all right so that's all for uh, this video so I hope you have learned how to compute the correlation using and interpret the correlation using Excel